Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, family. You know I told you I was coming back. Yes, we have to get down and dirty with this video. Yes, you see what Portia's doing? So is she telling us she's belonging to the LGBT community? Or she just like to play over there in the pool and then she comes on back saying she's strictly dickly when she pretty much get down both ways. Okay, next I'm waiting for the animals. I'm telling you, Portia has just, you know, she could be in bestiality. We don't know, allegedly. Because she one way this way, this she another way that way. We want to know, girl. We want to know. Can I? We done told us she bisexual. She like the, uh, the ladies pool and she likes the man pool. Okay? But we're trying to figure out what pool are you in? You did this Twizzler challenge at Dish Nation when you were over there being your radio personality self. Giving us the tea uh, on celebrity news and this, that, and the third. But, hey, the celebrity news that was on you, you told them they can't use. And I don't know. That's allegedly. But it seems like the shit that you were going down with family Porsches, with Porsches Family Matters. Not now person. And I mean not now person on the Ricky Smiley Show talked about it. Okay. So, I know you probably gave them a little cute coin or they just like you like that and they say okay you done made a fool out yourself but no ain't no sense of us broadcasting you because you were one of our own and we still respect you and like you but guess what guys Portia has come out and she is advertising and being a spokeswoman for a womanizer globe yes she is now I'm thinking hey wait a minute hold up wait a minute is Simon not throwing it down girl is he not Slapping it, flipping it, and rubbing it down. Is he not doing that, girl? Come on, because we want to know. Because you know I like to tell the business, okay? And I always say it's allegedly because I'm not living with you. I don't know you personally. And I ain't trying to get down to know you, okay, babe? I'm just saying the optics that you give us. I'm like, girl, Candy Birds had that shit on lock. You should have been one of her consultants, baby. If you want to do the sex toys or are you in it to win it? Because Simon's not putting it down. You let us know. You let us know. Because you already built up for headaches. Headaches and uh, heartaches. If you can't throw it down, Portia. And you know you are very sexually active. As they say in the streets. That is what the streets saying. All of it's allegedly over here. But we know you are very sexually active. Alright. So Father Time ain't doing it for you. So he giving you a pass. He looking away. And saying girl I ain't finna take no. I, I, uh, what do you call that? I finna say aloe vera or. Uh, <laughs> is he having erectile dysfunctional stuff going on girl? He can't handle that uh, Viagra girl. Let us know. Let us know. But you should have talked to your sister girl. Can though that you know she came for the black. And, and try to tell black people how to be sensitive to their needs and she definitely brought out several bedroom candies uh participants they're called toys sex toys if you must okay and she was the first black woman that i know was out there doing the thing because you know we had all these little uh starship um uh, outlets or enterprises that you can go to the store inside and it just be a plethora, a plethora of stuff that you can tickle your fancy, tickle your man, tickle your woman, however you get down, okay? It's all up in there. It's like dress up to make up to uh, fuck up. That's pretty much what I see. But, you know, if you know, that's where you go and you need that added extra piece of resistance, that added flair to set the mood, you know, hey, go on and do what you need to do. But like I said, I'm the person that I knew that was doing this thing. And I'm like, damn, Candy trying to be a madam too? Ooh, a madam of surprises and suspense. Okay, I, I get you. But after she did that dungeon thing, I said, okay, she done went to the wayside. She's that's really out there now. But she ain't lied about anything. She's told us 
but you like women. It's different. She enjoys it. So I'm like, if you're claiming your own, you know, whatever it is that you're claiming, your sexuality, good, got it. I love it, you like it. Or I like it and you love it. It doesn't matter because I don't get down that way and I don't tell other people how to, you know, mix and mingle with what they feel that they need in their life. You know, whether it's a same-sex relationship or it's a heterosexual relationship or a bestiality type relationship. We got it all. We got it all in the world now. Don't be surprised because everything is coming out. Everything was done in the dark, coming out to front and center. In our faces. But yes, I just had to tell y'all. You know, Portia was over there after she had that whole mess of a uh, show she called, titled it Portia's Family Matters, the blended version, that we never got anything from that, never saw anything of that. And we, we want it to stay burning because we don't want it to resurrect, get redid, rebranded. We don't want to see it. Okay? It's just a hot mess. All right? And it wasn't drama filled to where we were appetizing for it. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't that like, oh, she told that one up. You know what I'm saying? It was like, uh uh-uh, uh, what is she doing? I'm cringing at every step of the way throughout that whole. Uh, show she was trying to give us and she made our family look stupid okay and just discord you know everything just oh it's negative 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 but anyway we got her trending on over here yep i said it we got her trending on over here on whether we're trying to guess what sex uh um we call it sex positions she likes and this that and the third and i'm telling you candy birds did well Dude, she's the madam the black madam out here trying to make it do what it's do but you know don't get in no prostitution uh can don't be selling up folks i'm just saying girl because that, that's illegal all right and then i can't defend you i can't defend you i'm just putting out that warning out there for you but it seems like the bedroom is very dry when it comes to uh, the optics that Portia is giving us. Father Time can't get it up. It's okay. He, he, he can try little tricks here and there. But if you know you want him to use the toys on you, go ahead. But Karen is also out there selling her products for makeup for those who didn't know. She ain't just down with the bedroom scene. She's trying to get you made up and look pretty. And make you, you feel pretty. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. She's a very good entrepreneur. She knows what attracts uh, the masses. Not just the, our culture, our race. She knows what people like. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to the bedroom scene. When you got a man, you don't got a man. Or you got a woman, you don't have a woman. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And then they have these sex toys. I'm just waiting for her to come out with the blow up doll. Where it's a man and a woman. But, you know, we have people who do that. And I think they are in Starship in Atlanta. Those little sex toy shops you could definitely go to. Uh, and they have many, many things you can do. Uh, that the mind would just only wonder about. But you can bring it into fruition. Okay? Just depends on how kinky and sex deprived you are. I don't know because, I, like I said, I don't get that. I don't do that or whatever. But, um, yeah, because I always thought that the vibrator would just get up in me and, and electrocute me. So, I, you know, I'm not with that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want to live a little longer. But right now, I have been celibate for quite a while. So, it just is what it is. It's my choice because there's always somebody out there for everybody. But definitely don't go, definitely don't go like that. You know, if it ain't up to my standards and the Lord ain't blessed me with it, they, they can keep it. Because I, I got problems on my own. I, you know, I can do bad all by myself. I don't need no help. Lord knows I don't. And I, cho- I choose not to. But anyway, we just be a little mess over him. Just a little messy, okay? It ain't that serious. But I'm like, damn, you trying to compete against Candy Burris, uh, Portia? By signing up and being an ambassador seller for, or spokesperson, a uh, womanizer, the original. They've been established since 2014. Okay. Mm, interesting, poor shot. Interesting. But as you see, Candace there ain't no one monkey gonna stop no show. Okay. Uh, no pun intended, but my thing is, uh, see, Candace is all in these ventures, and now I heard she was teaming up with a hospital that's local in Atlanta called Piedmont Hospital. They are monopolizing, it seems, the whole healthcare industry. They buying up every little person, every little mom and pop, little uh, medical center, everything. 
They're going everywhere. And I'm like, God, dog, it might be a Piedmont coming near you and your state for us over with. Because they are definitely uh, monopolizing the economy with uh, everything Piedmont. So, Ken has teamed up with them in their wellness program. And I don't know if she's going to be an ambassador for Piedmont Hospital. But, you know, like I said, they gave her the key to Atlanta. And they only give it to people that showed uh, very good philanthropy type work in a community out there trying to fight the good fight. And, you know, having their own charitable organization and, you know, things of that nature. They probably don't, you know, too much like the side of uh, the dungeon she did. But, you know, that's making money. People do have, uh, there is a niche, uh, a market out there, <coughs> excuse me, for sex toys and pleasuring yourself. But uh, some some people they don't don't too much get with it. But you know, hey, if you need it, you got it good. Okay, you don't necessarily need a man. Is what she's saying. And I guess Portia, you know, she just want to hold on to Simon for the aesthetics, the optics, and the possible money she can blow through. But it seems like they're going tit for tat. She, she she's spinning shit. He's spinning shit. And technically, in a normal relationship, that was a truthful relationship. That's like that's pretty much what you got to do. You know, tit for tat. You know. You spend it one time, I spend it because everybody, you know, your money is my money, my money is your money. That's the whole lingo when you get married. But a lot of people be like, no, nah, what you came in is what you got if you leave. <laughs> and what I came in, what I got, I'm leaving with it, okay? And that's pretty much how Candy Burst told Todd Tucker. A little tiny t- Todd Tucker, I, I like to call him. But, uh, yeah, those are two fraudulent people. they full of foolishness, fakery, and fuckery. And I'm talking about Simon and Portia, okay? Because I'm like, Portia, are you telling us that, uh, girl, you swimming in a lady pool now for a while? Because you got Simon and he's not really hitting it the way he should hit it. Or maybe he can't get it to go up. I don't know. Seek uh medical attention when it comes to that and maybe he already has and just not interested who knows you know what i'm saying who knows and prince say you need jesus honey and uh, i i do agree because we don't know where you coming and going right now it's, you run around him being a copycat and i thought well maybe i need to call portia the copycat copycat portia okay because she's copying everybody's life she's copying everybody's business ideas and she's copying uh, just being, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, trying to express herself as the model role of how you're supposed to look and how you're supposed to be shaped and this, that, and the third. Okay. Woohoo. Yes, we speak in truth tonight because, like I said, we all confused about Portia's sexuality. If she wants to come on out and tell us, like, can and be transparent, that would be so lovely, so nice. Okay. Instead of trying to be this wholesome woman running around here. Faking the funk and, and saying she this one this 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 is the optic she wanna give us the, the lady with the picky white fence got everything got the children a child or however you wanna see it because he got children she just got a child but if you put it uh the mob in the mix they got children and this is the life she wants to live but all this other stuff like this it just pauses it makes one pause to sit and you know deduce what we're seeing here because it's seeming like both are loving what they are doing okay even though they said it was a you know uh, what do you call it? Just a challenge or whatnot, but they both seem like they were well into it. Okay, I'm just saying. What y'all think about it? The pictures that I showed y'all of her kissing her ex uh, co-worker Heidi. Okay, on Dish Nation. I'm sure y'all caught it. If y'all caught Portia, y'all was just watching because of Portia was on the show. Okay, it just is what it is. But you know, I like a woman that can come out and say what they like, who they like, and how they get down, so it won't be no added press, or they don't find out this they don't find out that sort of like it was on with queen latifah and she still haven't said one way or the other she's just living her life and living it with the young lady they don't have a baby together um and it just is what it is she's not uh, uh we call it she's not confessing and she yet she's not denying <laughs> 
<laughs> so it's like whatever you say, whatever it is, but you really don't know the truth. Now, do you? Okay, so we were just in straight mess field. I saw like half of this video, God, because I was like, damn, you copping, uh, you copping on Fallon, trying to get her life and whatever Simon gave her. Then you know, ran trying to be a spokesperson or advertiser for womanizer of the sex toy. Uh, chain and candy already done set up and threw bedroom candy down our throats for the last seven or eight years and she says doing very well i can't do nothing but believe her because she ain't lost nothing she's still flossing she's still doing making what it do she making legacies and and companies for her family okay i don't know how much todd got out of it in case something goes down south and mama joyce throw him out of candy's life what he's gonna walk away with i have no idea okay but i'm just dealing on portia living us Portia's living her life like she's gold living in her life like she's gold okay she's giving this whole little look okay or how she's doing it and what she's doing it but she didn't do this when she was on real housewives of atlanta you know what i'm saying she was all claiming to fame she was strictly dickly but now it seems it has taken another turn where Pushes part of the LGBT community and all the other alphabets that I may have forgotten. Okay, because the whole setup to me is kind of confusing. All right, just like we had, um, I did a um, a review or a video on Dwayne Wade, a uh, uh, retired basketball player uh, that's married to Gabrielle Union. You know, his son was a son, and then he came home one day because he had an epiphany that, hey, he's a girl. He needs to be a girl. He's always wanted to be a girl. And, you know, they embraced it, uh, both parents, but not the uh, real biological mom. You know, but see, Dwayne Wade, when you have money and you marry somebody that don't have money, and they are just living off your money because y'all married, and uh, they start to make um, decisions without you. Now, me, I would have just, you know, brought him tooth and nail. He probably would have had me on a printed penny. But I would like, nope, can't. my child cannot give in to those feelings until they get a little older. Because half the time, you know, have you kissed a girl or not? Yes, I can. I was in elementary. And, of course, I, my hormones were raging and everything. And, you know, other girls, they were talking about, have you ever been kissed? And you'd be like, you just want to just try some things out. You know what I'm saying? The curiosity. Don't kill the cat because the cat got nine lives, okay? So, we're just here, you know, playing around or whatever. And, you know, you know how girls are. We just went in the closet and kissed or whatever. And then, you know, the other girls went in and did the same thing. And I was like, okay, I knew from that day I did not like women. <laughs> okay? But like I said, you just try things. And it's curiosity. And some people kiss girls. Some uh, boys kiss other boys. And they like it. You know what I'm saying? But it's not like, hmm, should you act on it? Hmm. Should you talk to your parents about it? Of course. And then they can... I try to understand how did you come to this conclusion that you were this person. You know what I'm saying? And let them know all the obstacles and the trials and tribulations that they're going to face. Because people are going to judge them. And they're not going to understand their philosophy of living. Because they're going to be Bible, uh, toting, Bible, uh, we call it uh, badgering and this, that, and the third. When we already know church has its place and we know they have more devils in church than they do righteous folks. Okay? But it is what it is. All right? But I'm just saying this to say that. Uh, Portia is definitely a grown-ass woman. And we know she's told us in certain or alluded to that yeah she does like women too and she's even said it on the show when we were going around with bolo you know she was kissing on was it juice adora i know she was kissing on uh tanya her and tanya probably got down behind the scenes that's just allegedly i don't know it's just my perspective and my optics that i have at the time and i'm pretty sure shamia has maybe uh did a little thing here and there <laughs> <laughs> not saying it you know i'm just having a conversation with my family it's just when they see they 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 
you know, they give us things to look at. Our mind goes and we wonder about this, that, and the third, okay? Not saying that we're judging because we don't. I don't judge on nobody's sexuality or get into politics. It's just too much, and we don't talk about church that much either. If you like this, I like this, then we just like what we like, and we keep it moving, okay? Because we don't have time to get headaches, heartaches, and more than likely, uh, fights <laughs> that will break out when you try to go against somebody and tell them what they should be doing instead of what they are doing that's something we don't do um uh, me because i've learned the hard way younger you know people gonna do what they want to do whenever they feel like they're gonna do it and they're not going to be bothered with what you think okay so that, that was just kind of like wow okay eye opening so when i got the um the video I was like, what? That is crazy. And I remember seeing that on Dish Nation when I was, I think, coming home from work. And I was taking off my work clothes. And I was just turning on the TV. And that happened to be on that channel where they were going through their comments and goings of that particular show that they were doing. And they had this Twizzler challenge. And I quickly thought about Candy and Todd and how they were very much so attracted to uh Portia okay and then you know Portia well Candy said Portia wanted to uh kiss her or eat her or something to that effect you know what I'm saying and I'm like okay we didn't really need to know that but Bravo did not edit it out so we tend to have heard what she said and of course Portia at the time wasn't trying to do anything of the sorts <laughs> that she said you know what I'm saying but behind closed doors we knew it probably was another whole totally different situation she might have blamed it on the alcohol or the ubi I don't know I I ain't trying to know but I'm just saying when they put it out there on social media I feel like I want to talk about it it's making me feel some kind of way I come on over here to the family and say let's have a gathering because <laughs> we need to talk about some things and how somebody's moving and I just want to make sure I'm not you know stepping out of my boundaries and and put too much on 10 when it should be on two okay but that's all I had we had to be a little messy with me Portia because I'm like no she didn't try to go and adopt an idea that uh candy has already brought into fruition and is doing well from what she says with her bedroom sex toys okay and i found it very odd that portia would come out the woodworks because i'm on the sideline i'm sitting i ain't even in the game i'm just being a spectator and uh portia comes out saying she wants to sell sex toys and she's putting up the little shush sign now if anybody know anything about the old illuminated ones they do that shush thing like keep it quiet keep it on the down low don't tell all right but Portia you have told you have done things and I don't know <laughs> I don't know what the illuminated ones would do with you okay because when you in these clubs you got to make sure everything is kept secret okay so I'm like are you just telling us that Simon does not do it for you in the bed and you have to have these toys to get off let us sister know okay Okay, because then we can say, well, this is what your life is going to be like. All right, you're going to be a caregiver soon. You're going to be changing his diapers, okay? Because men wear the pins as well. They're called incontinence type material to use for people who can't control their bladder or their bowels, okay? So we could tell that maybe Simon cannot get it up. It's okay, most people go through it depending on their age and their physiological as well as physical uh, astute type of comings and goings with their bodies. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's physiological where it's just all in your mind and you can't seem to get it together. And then it could be, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, the hell, for lack of a better word that I can't think of right now, your body's just not there. It cannot do it anymore. It cannot produce it. Being half the time it is because of age and it could be because of medications that you are taking. But yes, Portia baby. Yes, Portia baby. What is going on with me? We do want to know. So if you want to come out on social media, make a statement or whatever or not. Okay. It would be good if you could just let us know what is your sexuality these days. Okay.
Are you straight? Are you gay? Or are you both? Tell us, okay? There's no sense of hiding with who you really are. Candace being, being very transparent, how she gets down. And she loves talking about sex and the comings and goings. I think the girl should write a book, okay? I would probably buy it just to see how she put things in perspective, all right? But that's all I have for this video, guys. Portia's selling sex toys, and she's playing in the lady pool. What do you all think, okay? And I will see y'all next video. Bye-bye.